Alright my friends, welcome back again to the Mega Hippo YouTube channel. I'm Bryce and this is going to be a review for Season 1, Episode 3 of Loki, which you can find on Disney+. Plus. So, this is a spoiler warning. If you haven't seen Loki Episode 3, go ahead and watch it and come back. Otherwise, if you don't care about spoilers, welcome to the party. So, uh, overall, what did I think of this episode? I thought this was... A good episode. I don't want to necessarily call it the weakest of the three because I think all three of the episodes have been really great so far, but this one I would say is, I'm gonna say it's probably the weakest of the three, although it is still a very good episode. What really all goes on? Some fascinating discussions kind of take place between Loki and Sylvie. Sylvie is the character that we get introduced to in the ending of episode two. Loki calls her Loki and then she says don't call me that call me Sylvie she's a she's taken on a new name so therefore known as Sylvie basically what these two are trying to do is they're trying to escape to the TVA Sylvie is hellbent on meeting the timekeepers at least from what it looks like in order to do whatever it is she's going to do them however uh, her and Loki kind of get caught in this crossfire and then they end up on this moon that's about to go into an anarch anarchaic event. If you guys don't recall from episode two, Sylvie's been hiding in these anar anarchy events in order so the TVA can't find her. And now her and Loki find themselves caught in one of these and now have to find their way off of this moon. But that's basically the main arc of the entire episode. Overall, what I really love about the MCU and Marvel titles in general is they do a really great job of making, focusing on one particular point, but having a lot of great moments along the way and a lot of good character development and character dialogue. In this episode, there were, I'd say, two or three great points within it. The first of which was uh, Loki and Sylvie's dialogue about their mother, and it was really eye-opening to see that in Sylvie's life, which is just a different version, a variant of Loki's life, if you will, that uh, when she was really young, th their mother passed away and she doesn't really remember much of her. And then Loki, it kind of puts everything into perspective for Loki that he was lucky enough to have his mother his whole life up until that point, because at that point, his mother hadn't passed yet, wasn't killed yet. And so it kind of puts into perspective for him like how lucky he is to be able to say that his mother's still alive and that he's gotten to learn so much from her and he does that little cool firework trick with his hands and shows it to Sylvie which I really appreciate I thought that was a really nice touch overall and then following that up the second great dialogue moment was their discussion on love and what exactly it is it I think all great art really asks what makes great art what makes great literature is that that can spark discussions that are so applicable to real life and what more is applicable to life than love a lot of people search for it a lot of people seek it out and a lot of people experience it so I really liked how the MCU really threw that in there and Loki and Sylvia were having that dialogue and I also really like Loki's use of the dagger in in doing so in their interpretation of love so it felt a little uh I don't want to say it felt out of place but it felt kind of random but at the same time, I didn't really mind the fact that it was random. I really appreciated it, and I didn't expect that from the episode. So it, it, there's got to be something to pass the time, right? Because like I said, the only thing they're really doing this episode is trying to get off of this moon and out of this anarchic event so they can survive and get back to the TVA. So food for thought there. And I would say that the third most interesting point of this particular episode was the fact that we really discover a little bit more about the TVA agents and who they are. When Loki and Sylvie, they're getting close to getting on what they call the Ark. The Ark is what the people on this moon use to escape this anarchic event. But anyways, Sylvie drops to us a little bit of a nugget saying that uh, earlier on in the episode, she tries to get one of the TVA agents through her mind tricks to reveal the location of the timekeepers. And she mentions that she had to use an event in the TVA agent's memory from hundreds of years ago. And this kind of sparks a thought in Loki's mind. He's like, well, if she had a memory from hundreds of years ago and it was a memory of her on Earth, therefore thus establishing she is a human from Earth who is now a TVA agent, Loki's like, wait a second, I was told that all the TVA agents were created by the timekeepers. And Sylvie says, no, that, that's absolutely not true. This TVA agent was born, raised, and lived on Earth for a long, long time. And Loki was like, well, that's where all the TVA agents think. They all think they were created by the timekeepers. So 
I'm glad that this episode gave us at least a small step closer to discovering who exactly the timekeepers are and what their purpose is, and also how a lot of the TV agents got there. Now I'm really curious to see more about how Mobius got to where he's at, who is Mobius in general, and I guess we'll have to stay tuned and wait to find out. And what, what are the plans for the timekeepers, and what exactly does Sylvie want for them? I guess it... It, 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 it brings the converse, these conversations more to the forefront, but it doesn't quite give us a ton of closure quite yet. I'm anticipating in episodes four, five, and six, because unfortunately there's only three episodes left, that we'll get a lot of these questions answered, but I'm, I'm curious to see how everything's going to turn out. And just to kind of wrap up the episode too, it, it, I, I'm kind of bummed out by the end of the episode. The reason being is because I didn't feel like it was a very fulfilling conclusion you know loki and sylvie there's a lot of cool action in this episode for from the both of them a lot of cool fight sequences which i actually kind of enjoyed i don't know why i enjoy seeing those two fight together they seem like they got really great chemistry and sorry i'm jumping around a little bit but while i'm on that loki and sylvie both had really good chemistry in this episode and it made me actually appreciate these conversations a lot more so i just want to toss that in there but Anyways, so they're like this close to getting on the Ark and getting off of the moon, but then the Ark is destroyed by one of the pieces of the planet that's crashing toward it. So, and then the episode just kind of ends, like Sylvie just kind of walks away really pissed and Loki's just kind of standing there like, oh shit, what do we do now? So, I mean, I, although I can't think of quite a better way to really end the episode, I, I think the episode maybe could have used 10 more minutes uh, past that to discover what the heck they're gonna do i guess it with the ending that they did choose it leaves a little bit more intrigue for episode four along with the points about the tva that i just mentioned so it, at the same time it gives us something to look forward to but i think it could use a couple more minutes to hash out uh what exactly they go from from there in order to get off of that moon so i'll be curious and i'm really looking forward to season to seeing episode four of loki so Ladies and gentlemen, like I said, overall, I thought this was a good episode. I want to know what you think, though. What did you think of Loki Episode 3? Feel free to jump down in the comments below and let me know whatever your thoughts are. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so this has been the Bankrupt Hippo YouTube channel. Like, comment, and subscribe for more content. I've been Bryce, and until the next video, have a great day.